All right, so today we'll see how to wirelessly update the ESP32 board. If you have an ESP32 board and you've already created a project on it and you need to make updates to the project, what do you usually do? You reconnect the ESP32 board to the computer via USB cable and upload the code again, right? But this process is a bit time consuming, especially if the project is wall mounted in a remote location or you don't have direct access to the board. In such cases, you can use OTA updates. With OTA updates, you can wirelessly update the ESP32 board directly via Wi-Fi without using a USB cable. So make sure to watch this video till the end because we'll explore OTA updates in detail, step by step. Let's head to the Arduino IDE. We'll need to install a library. Go to the Library Manager, search for Arduino OTA, and you'll find the Arduino OTA library in the fast results. Install this library. After installing the library, select the ESP32 board. Once the board is selected, we'll use example code. For that, go to File, then Examples, and Arduino OTA, and open the Basic OTA sketch. This is the basic OTA code for configuring the ESP32 board for OTA updates. It includes necessary libraries like Wi-Fi.h, ESPMDNS.h, Wi-Fi UDP.h, and Arduino OTA.h. Here, you need to add your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. Let me quickly add those. In the setup function, the serial monitor is initialized. A booting message is printed, Wi-Fi is set to station mode, and the connection is verified using a while loop. If the board fails to connect, it automatically restarts using ESP.restart. The Arduino OTA begin function starts the OTA service. On successful connection, it prints ready and the local IP address. In the void loop, Arduino OTA handle continuously checks for incoming OTA update requests. Basically, you don't need to do anything extra in this code. Just add your SSID and password, select the board and port, and upload the code. Once uploaded, open the serial monitor to see the assigned IP address. In the port section, you'll see an ESP32 network port. Select it to push OTA updates to the board. You can do this from anywhere, as long as the ESP32 is connected to Wi-Fi. I've disconnected the board from my PC and powered it via an adapter. Let's test an OTA update. For this demo, I'll blink an LED. I'll use pin 13, define an integer variable, LED, set the pin mode in setup, and in loop, toggle the LED with a two second delay. In the port section, select the ESP32 network port. Note, no COM ports are connected now. Enter your Wi-Fi password, and the code will compile and upload automatically. You'll see the LED blinking. Next, let's change the pin to 26 and push another update. After uploading, the LED blinks on pin 26. As you saw, OTA updates make it easy to wirelessly push changes to the ESP32. This demo used a simple LED blink code, but you can use OTA for advanced projects too. Define global variables above the setup. Add your setup code inside setup. Avoid modifying the default OTA code and write loop logic in loop. This library also supports ESP8266 boards. That's it for this video. I hope you understood how to use the Arduino OTA library for wireless updates on ESP32, ESP8266. If you learned something, drop a like, subscribe, and comment for doubts. Text me on Instagram for direct queries. See you in the next video. Take care.